Hey guys, welcome back. Ooh, what's this bell? So, tonight I have an Elysian Full Contact Imperial Hazy IPA. Let's read the back. Cloaked in a semi-translucent haze, an imposing presence beckons you to come closer. As you do, your nose opens to a tangent of wistful memories. Peach season is in the orchard, a tangerine tree on a hill, fresh honeydew cold from the fridge, and a vanilla cream soda in your hand. What kind of bittersweet initiation is this? All right. Let's see what it tastes like. Ah. Going with the duck hunting mug today. It's gonna have to take at least a couple pours to do it. There's the pour, guys. It's looking, uh, Dark and hazy. Let's see if these two mix. Well, there's a lot going on there. Um, yeah. I mean, there's Everything that they just described in there, um, it does have a pretty bitter aftertaste, though, for it having so many sweet um, flavors, like peach and tangerine and, like, a little bit of that cream taste. Uh, you got honeydew. Uh, it's not take another drink it's just got like an overwhelming just bitter taste all over the tongue before you really get to to taste a lot of that sweet. I know that most of the taste buds on your tongue are bitter, but um, yeah, there's there's a lot of, there's a lot, sorry, my phone is at 10%, so give me a little notification. Um, they do have this uh, a decent amount of gas stations that I've seen. So it's obviously popular <laughs> enough to be at, you know, like the 7-Elevens and the Shell stations and all that kind of stuff. But it's not bad. Uh, I don't want to fully commit to giving it anything until I've kind of drinking it almost all the way. So, I mean, it's $3 for one of these. 8.8% alcohol. Um, I think it's like 19.2 fluid ounces. I mean, it doesn't taste like terrible, but it's not something I would drink regularly. And especially if you're not into, um, like, like real bitter or hoppy beers, um, definitely a, a big change up from the fruit force that I just tried. And I mean, Coors Light, yeah, obviously it's going to taste better than that, but um, 
Coors Light has that refreshing taste. So, and you know, my furnace decided to start going off right now. Uh, sorry about that, but I'm not a professional. So, this is my space in the garage. It's kind of what I get. I enjoy it. Uh, I've got some other things to put up, but uh, I really don't have space on my walls anymore. I mean, after they're hanging on these two big flags. This is actually from the draft here in Las Vegas back in 2020, where the Chiefs picked up a lot of the good rookies that helped win the Super Bowl this year. Um, and obviously I'm a big Kyle Busch fan. Can't keep a good man down. Doesn't matter what he does. They just rebrand him, change his number, and get him different sponsors. It really does suck that uh, now he has like sponsors like Cheddar's and RCR, which are um, not as recognizable to the normal person, but if you are a fan of NASCAR, you know what those what those companies are. Oh, sorry. Been a long day. take away from everything else that they've decided to do with this hazy um, usually the hazies are very very sweet or citrusy um, yeah this this one has a very uh, uh, hoppy back of the mouth and throat aftertaste so if you're not willing to taste that, I would definitely go with something else. Uh, but, I mean, there are people that like that, you know, and I used, my, I mean, my, my wife is one of those people that really likes that bitter, hoppy taste, for the most part. I mean, if it's like super overwhelming, then obviously not, but I... It, I vary based on my mood. Um, like this would be one of my choices if uh, if if it was like one of four. IPAs and I was like I don't really want a hazy little thing or you know something like that and I would definitely go for the Cilician but it's definitely not my first choice uh, I don't want to bag on it too hard because I have enjoyed this beer before and it's something that if I need to change it up I can, I can grab a tall can of that for the night and be good but, oh, sorry. But for the most part, eh, I'll I'll give it a six. It's not um, not something that the average beer drinker is going to appreciate. Uh, so if you are looking for something new definitely try it out and if you're somebody that has trouble experimenting with beer or just isn't willing to take on that bitter hop taste it comes with it then I would definitely choose to drink something else um, other than that, very good. Uh, 
as far as drinkability, I mean, it's very easy to chug. It's not very carbonated. Very small bubbles there. Uh, it doesn't bubble from the bottom as much as a normal beer. Uh, so, for like a light beer or a lager. So it's definitely something that you can drink without getting too belching, you know? Sorry, right, I'm just kind of trying to bide my time until the furnace stops. It's okay though. Um, <clears throat> trying to look for some good things to find to say about this beer. Uh, I'm just at a loss. So, man, I thought that I liked this beer more. If I'm gonna be completely honest, uh, when I was running back from the gym, you know, it's, it's about a three mile run. Well, it is a three mile run. And stopped at the store, grabbed one of these, or one of these and another, <laughs> that I'll probably be doing a review on. Uh, this here Nevada Torpedo. That one is kind of similar to this, so it'll probably about be a five or a six also. I'm uh, gonna be a little bit more critical on beers now, just because uh, I've started to taste so many. kind of have to um, but not bad uh, definitely middle of the pack when it comes to IPAs not the worst I've ever had not the best I've ever had that's why I gave it a six if you are feeling like trying something different this might be your new favorite it's just not something that I would drink all the time uh, cheers That kind of does it for that.